Well, I've given the bike a quick polish. Haven't been very thorough, but that's because I'm excited to get riding. We're going to cruise night in Winnipeg today, and I've released a little bit of a challenge to you guys on my channel here and on Facebook. So if you live in the Winnipeg area and you saw it, well, it would be a good reason to follow me because by now it's already over. But I'm going into Winnipeg right now. I've got these cans of Bullsnot glass cleaner with me. Pretty much all it is is anyone who's got a, a love for cars or motorcycles or just driving in general, they all sort of just go on a cruise. A lot of them go up and down Portage Avenue in Winnipeg. Some of them go to Grant. Uh, some of them go to Lockport north of Winnipeg. And they just sort of, you just it's just a day of leisurely cruising in Winnipeg. It's known as cruise night. It's nothing official or anything. It's just, it's a Winnipeg thing. Okay, we've gotten to Winnipeg. And we've gotten to the GoPro. We're gonna be getting the GoPro Hero 8 Black 2.0. The 3.0 is like over 500 bucks. Quick and easy, in and out in less than 10 minutes. So the Hero 9 was what was, uh, $530 plus tax or something. This one here is $400, uh, yeah, $400 plus tax. Came out to with $450. Bucks. So they're not cheap, but uh, they are the best you can get. So this camera right now that I'm using now is the Hero 7. Seems to be working pretty good right now. We're just gonna keep using it, I guess, until it stops working again today. <laughs> I'll put this in my saddlebag here. And we'll uh, head downtown, do some riding. Got a couple of cans of bull snot in there just in case if somebody sees me. Got it ready for them right away. That's Portage and Main where all those buildings are right there. We're at the Forks. Stopped here for a few pictures. This funny looking building right here is the Canadian Museum of Human Rights. Got a picture there as well. And of course this train is going right through downtown now. And you know what, I'm not even gonna cut that out because that is real Winnipeg right there. If you live downtown, you know exactly what that sound was before I even showed you. And it goes right through downtown. <laughs> All these people live in here. Yeah, we're having fun. Uh, I'm about to hit Portage Avenue, so we stopped by Best Buy on the east side of the city uh, first because I live in Steinbeck and when I come into Winnipeg, Transcona is the first area of the city, or the closest area of the city to Steinbeck. Stopped there, got the new GoPro Hero 8. I'm not using it right now yet because so far this Hero 7 is still, still working today, but I don't trust it. Yeah, I guess uh, my cruise night's officially going to begin right away. So I'm going to put on the chest strap and give you guys uh, the best first person view I can. I don't have any head mount on this camera because I'm I don't want to put those sticky mounts on this on this helmet. <laughs> so usually if I'd have a full face maybe you'd be mounted down. You guys get it. So I'm gonna put you on my chest right about here. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> I took my I took my earplugs out because I'm in the city now. I always usually wear like uh, motorcycle ear or sound reduction earplug type things for on the highway because the wind is so loud in my ears. And once I got to the city, of course, I took them out. I want to be able to hear what's going on around me and you know talk to people and hear my bike, especially. I forgot how loud this thing is. <laughs> if you see me and you're wondering, is that him or not? Oh, you'll know it's me, okay? You'll know, you'll hear me echoing down the streets before you even see me. Do you hear that familiar sound? Listen closely. Of course I ended up at the Flying J. We're here in Headingley right now. I gotta get gas. I'm at 110 miles on here and at 130 miles I have to kick it into reserve tank and then I can go up to 150. I don't have a fuel gauge on this so that's my fuel gauge. I'm on the wrong side though. I wanted to come say hi to my people. And just smell that uh, diesel exhaust fumes just a, just a little bit more. I'm gonna go to the other side now. Fuel it up with premium gasoline and head back downtown. So the first can of bull snot has been claimed. There we are. Thank you, Tracker Jack. <laughs> You're welcome. It's gonna go good on my truck. Yeah? Yeah. At the Flying J, of course. Yep. I knew if I came to the Flying J, somebody, somebody might be here waiting for me. But... Oh yeah, that's, uh, 
seen it on Facebook and yeah. jumped out of the truck and lo and behold, here it is, the man, the legend. Yeah, that's awesome. I got to, uh, he called his family back home, got to talk to his kids a little bit there and that was pretty special. Yeah. That was awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's, uh, we've been following him a few years now. So. Cool. Not the flying J. I'd feel up on this side this time. It always feels weird feeling up on this side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had to do that once where I've had to drop the trailer and come to the, the dark side. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm all fueled up now and I uh, got some pizza and then we're going to head back downtown. All right, let's see what this GoPro Hero 7 has left in it. Go for a little ride. chickens ahead. Come here, you little cobra chickens. That's right, you run. It's very hard to get a good shot. This thing seems to be in your way. But those buildings right over there, uh, they're on the other side of the Cinnamon River. That's Osborne Village. So this is the super view I was talking about. I thought I had it before, just testing this camera out. I can only do 60 frames per second at 2.7K in this setting. It really gives you a good look of uh, everything around me. This would be good to use uh, going down the highway so you can see everything that I'm looking at. But the other one would be good as well because the more frames per second, the smoother the road footage is. Man, I was so excited to put this video together. I had so much footage and it was all on the GoPro Hero 7, the old GoPro. I'm happy to announce we are now filming with the new GoPro Hero 8. 
The reason I didn't film with it in this vlog was because I didn't have it charged. I just bought it. I need I needed to take it home, set it up, get it ready, and uh, charge it up. So I had my GoPro Hero 7, and I thought it was working great throughout the day. But as you can tell from how short this vlog was, uh, most of my footage didn't turn out. Very disappointing. I had a really fun day. Really fun day. But that's the, the thing about daily vlogging, you know? Some days your equipment just doesn't work with you. It's frustrating, but uh, you did get the uh, overall just of it. Took the bike into the city, went riding around. I had a couple of cans of bull snot with me and gave a few of them out to a couple of you out there. And uh, I had a really fun day. And I'm sorry I couldn't have shared more of it with you. I, I was really intending to. The camera started freezing right around the point where we saw those cobra chickens, or the Canada geese. They were crossing the road in front of me, and I just substituted it with some images. But, uh... <laughs> ah, from now on, we won't have any problems because of this, so at least that's solved. But thanks for watching today, this uh, short video. Uh, this coming week, we got some crane work. Uh, we're going to be using the claw a little bit more at work. We're gonna be hanging out in the blue truck a little bit. The regular driver of that truck is on holidays, so that's where I step in and I take over. And it should be fun. So I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Take care and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this camera will bring many, many good vlogs in the future for us. Anything you want to add, Frank? Commander, anything you want to add at all, here's your chance. This is the new camera, it's not going to freeze this time. Anything you want to add? Not a thing, man, you covered all the bikes. It's very nice. Good boy. Wiener? Well, oh, you look like you have something to say over there. Wiener, before they go, do you have anything to say to them? Well, uh, hello. My name is Vina. You can call me Vina. I like to party and have a good time. Mostly what I mean by that is I like to nap. That's all. Oh. Okay. Just tell me when you're done. You're a very exciting wiener. Very exciting. Isn't he? Who else is here? I bet you there's a Chevy and a diesel back there somewhere. I can get them to come to me. Hey! Diesel? Chevy? Hey! Chevy! Diesel! Hey, somebody! Somebody loves me! There you go, I knew you guys were here. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, my turn. Diesel. Where are you going? Well, I guess that's all you guys get. Chevy? No, you guys aren't very talkative today. I got down on the floor with you for this. Oh, dear. I very much appreciate that, Dad. That was a very nice gesture. Wanna say anything to the people? Hi guys, my name's Shelby. That's it. Dad has a new motorcycle. Uh, it's, it's very loud and scary. I don't like it. That's all. I like treats, uh, long walks at the dog park. Uh, I like most people. Anything else you wanna add? Uh, anybody? You make up food? I like carrots. Yes, carrots are my favorite. Do they got carrots? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. If you have carrots, you're my best friend, okay? We're best friends. Good. Okay. Can I get up now? Think so. Okay. Oh. Chevy, getting too old for this. And that's that. You guys always want to see the dog, so there you go. <laughs>